Okay, there's a deer. I thought I heard a bear. Oh, it's a buffalo! Really? How about that? Are they hostile? Oh, shit! He's hostile! Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. Uh, in this episode, we're going to upgrade the rest of our cabin to the stone and make the cooking station and try that out. So, I went out and did some hunting this morning, and uh, I have one uh, spoiled meat now. I did take those next points that I mentioned in the last episode, which specifically was um, Lone Wolf, so 10% XP experience, and then in the tech tree, we took stone walls, ramps and in tier one i took the anti-poison paste so we need to wait for two spoiled meat for that so probably what i'm going to start doing is having a a spoiled meat chest um what well, could just actually just be this chest where i'm going to put um you know the raw meat in there to spoil and then of course you know we we have stuff in here that's cooking too now one thing that is really cool that i noticed about uh, the, uh, what's it called? This, the skinny bench is, we actually get a food bonus for eating meat that we harvest on here too. So it's actually pretty nice, uh, to use that. I went out and got a bunch of corn, as you can see too. And, uh, and some pumpkins. Okay. So we're just kind of waiting for all that stuff to cook up. All right. Now, um, I went out and got a bunch more stone before I started. Oh, you know what? We have enough to... Uh, oh, no, we don't quite yet. Here, let's just stick that in there. Okay, anyway, um, I had to go get some more stones. We need to make, I've got seven roof ramps, but we need a total of nine. Uh, so let's make uh, two more of those. Uh, no, 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 no. Why do I do that? I want two there. And then, let's see, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen. We're going to need fourteen walls well I can I think we can can we turn those into the triangle walls uh, or do I have to learn that separate I don't remember now yeah we need we need the angled walls so okay we won't be able to do those uh, but we're, we know we're gonna need 14 walls because there's three on each side so that's 12 plus one here and one there. Okay, so let's make up 14 of those if we can, which we should be able to. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll have to wait for the triangle pieces until uh, we get to the next level. And well, we got to do the door, too, for that matter. Cool. All right, so let's grab the, uh, the ceiling pieces out of here. Let's get our upgrade hammer out of here. Excuse me. All right. Um, so we have to hold down R and do stone. And oh, we get the wood piece back, which is really nice. I love this game. Man. I am really digging this game and just the way that it works. So freaking awesome. I, you know, and Icarus has been out for a few months now, and I, I kind of, I kind of discounted it, I guess, at first, because I just didn't like the timed mission idea, but, you know, I, I'm kind of not minding that so much now, especially, you know, since we have 30 days, I mean, 30 days, real-time days is a very long time, I mean, you know, depending upon what game you're playing, that could be an entire playthrough. Uh, so I don't really mind that so much and might even uh, come to appreciate it the more I play this game. Uh, but just the way they've designed this game with the crafting and stuff, it's just amazing. Uh, okay, so uh, let's start doing the walls. I guess it'll it just automatically knows that that's a window so we don't have to tell it so. this one okay cool so if we get a storm between now and then 
I, I really like the you know the wood uh you know supports on the on the stone too it looks so good um, anyway if we get a storm between now and then which we probably will the only thing we have to worry about is keeping the the triangle pieces uh repaired in the door oh nice okay we should be able to actually uh let's make one more of these and we should be able to do our ramp outside too There we go. Look at that. Looking good, people. Looking good. Yep, definitely looks like a stone hut. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if we could keep keep the wood, which we could if we wanted to, but you know, then we'd still have to worry about trying to repair it and all that business, which I don't want to have to mess with anymore. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. We're going to put... Uh, these wood craft pieces, I guess we'll just put in here, back in here, for now. And I want to make the cooking station next. So we need some stone and some iron ingots for that. Let's grab a little bit of stone out of here. And some iron ingots out of here. And let's make ourselves a cooking station. All right, nice. We'll put these iron ingots back in here, and the stone can go back in here. So, what I'm thinking is, because food prep is all kind of over in this area, maybe we'll move the crafting bench up against this wall. And so this side of the house will kind of be like our kitchen area. So let's pick this up. It's going to drop a bunch of crap on the ground. In fact, something's already getting dropped on the ground. Oh, grilled pumpkin. Oh. All right. I guess there's not enough room for it. Okay, so let's put the crafting bench. We'll just center it in the on the wall right here for now. Uh, I think we're reasonably straight. All right, now let's pick all this stuff up. And put it all here. Oh, I picked up a <laughs> the mortar and pestle too. Uh, that's fine. Stick, charcoal. Um, that stuff will go in the mortar and pestle. So let's take put that here, and we'll just stick it in the middle again. And these two things were in there. I had some other stuff in there too, but. I actually want to get um, this uh, other stuff picked up first. Okay, let's also stick that bench in there for a second. Um, all right, let's get all this corn picked up before it disappears. Does it have a timer on it? Oh yeah, it's 69% decayed. Keeps wanting me to go into the bench there. So, didn't the fire pit have more room in it than this one? I don't know. Let's take all of the cooked stuff out of here. Hopefully the, um... Here, we're gonna eat that. Hopefully the kitchen thingy... Uh, I'm going to move this over to, and we're going to put the kitchen right next to the fireplace, because that just makes the most sense in my mind. Oh, we got some more charred corn here. Okay, so let's put this here. And then we're going to grab the kitchen, or the cooking station, rather, out of here. <clears throat> That right here. And that looks pretty straight. Okay, so this has lots of room in it. So we're going to store all of the cooked food in here. And let's see. We should... Yeah, we now have enough 
stuff to make our first uh, poison antidote thing. Okay, so with that, we just do our own inventory. Uh, so crafting, and we need some fiber and some charcoal. Okay, so let's grab some charcoal here, and there should be some fiber in here. Okay, we can only make one. I'm not really going to use this for the p because they're not that big a deal, but we are going to want to use that when we go into the caves. Okay, this meat I'm going to intentionally let rot. Um, since we need two, though, um, how do I just get one out of here? Split stack. Is it shift click? I guess we have to split the stack over and over. I want an even number because it takes two of these to make a thing, and then we might as well cook this meat up. There. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so we got that done. Now, let's look at the cooking station and see what we can do with this. So we can make fruit salad, wild salad, creamed corn, and just animal fat, which is probably an ingredient for something else. So fruit salad. Yeah, I remember we actually had the fruit salad when we were on the multiplayer server. 75% maximum health and stamina, 10 less oxygen and water. And 100 food. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. Oh, boy. We've got a storm coming in, so at least we only have to worry about the wood parts. So, very cool. Okay. So, we're making good progress. Make a pretty good progress here. I think we've built all of the workstations that I currently know how to build. Uh, let's just look one more time. So... Anvil bench, masonry, we did the chimneys, the fireplace. Oh, we haven't done any crop plots. That's what we should start working on is crop plots. Uh, so we can grow... What is it? Uh, watermelon and what else? And berries. We could start growing these so we can just have a constant supply of fruit salad. Wild salad, creamed corn. Oh, that's what we need the animal fat for. 75% maximum stamina. 150 maximum health. Ooh, wow, that's good stuff too, man. So I'm thinking watermelons, berries, and corn should be the first crops we should focus on. This wouldn't be bad either, but I don't think I've ever come across squash in this game. <laughs> Not that I remember, anyway. Cool. All right, well, um, yeah, we got a storm coming in, so let me grab my repair hammer out of here. Put the upgrade hammer back in here. We're going to need a little bit of wood. All right. So, yeah, we just have to wait now for uh, the storm to do its thing. At least we don't have to worry about keeping the whole entire house upgraded, just the wood parts. And I'll, I'll bet you, too, I mean, even if those wood parts were completely destroyed, um, I mean, hopefully it wouldn't collapse the roof. I don't know. I'm guessing it probably wouldn't, but who knows. All right, guys, well, I'm going to um, wait out this storm. And then um, what are we going to do next? I'd like to go back up to that cave and get some more ore. Uh, but I'd like to also do some... Exploring. What time is it, by the way? It is, uh, it's, oh, yeah, it's getting, kind of getting on in the day. So, I think what we'll do is, I might wait for the storm to finish, maybe just do a little bit of mining, you know, stone mining, or maybe I'll run up to that cave by myself for the rest of the day and get a little more ore. Sleep the night away, and then I'll bring you guys back in the morning, and we'll go do a little bit of exploration. I think that's what we'll do. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm about as far north and 
east as I've been uh, since we started this uh, prospect. So I thought I'd bring you back at this point. I'm basically just going along and hunting um, <clears throat> and kind of exploring the land. There is some watermelon, but we are too far away from the base for that to last. So I think I'm just going to, uh, excuse me, eat it now. Might as well. And that'll give us uh, a watermelon buff. Let's have some meat and some corn. That should give us all three. Very good. All right. So, yeah, uh, we're just going, going along, kind of just checking out the uh, the landscape here and, and hunting, like I said, and trying to get that to that next level. We are hunted two now for that achievement, which is great. Uh, let's kill a rabbit because we can. So, yeah, I've just been killing deer and and wolves mostly and just kind of checking things out so let's grab these carrots because we can eat those too if we need to i'm not really grabbing other stuff but i think probably oh there's another watermelon i think our next move is going to be uh getting some garden plots going um and getting watermelons planted in particular because berries i mean we'll probably plant some berries too but the berries are super easy to find uh, but the watermelon is probably one of the more difficult things to find that, uh, you know, so far that I've run into anyways. And then as soon as we get the skill to make flour, we can start picking wheat too. But uh, we got a couple more things, a little higher priority than that uh, up so far. So, okay. And as soon as, the other thing too is, you know, once we get to the next level, we'll be able to finish those final pieces on the house. And then we'll be fully upgraded to stone, which I'm definitely looking forward to. There's some more berries here. Okay. <coughs> so, I've been, you know, up in this area. Oh, shit. That scared me. Uh, to do the, uh, to do the, um, you know, the survey or the scan thing that we did. But I haven't done anything else up here. Haven't looked around and really explored, so it's going to be mostly pretty much new territory, even though, you know, it does kind of look the same, but that's all right. It's it's fun. It's good to look at. It's a nice looking, nice looking map, so I don't mind that so much. Here's another deer. Right in the nose. Okay. He was just a level two. I heard a wolf close by too, so that might attract him. I guess I'm supposed to leave it in the skinned mode, but not, you know, loot it for it to attract the wolves. <clears throat> so at some point we might, you know, bait some wolves just for the hell of it, I guess. Okay, so we should be able to get down this way. And I just want to kind of go as far east and north as I can just to see... What's going on? Uh, what's growling down there? I'd like to kill a bear. I haven't even seen a bear except for the, you know, the, the quest thing that we did. What is that? That sounds different than a wolf. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, they, yeah, there's a bear. Okay. Let's see what level it is. Pick these berries, too. Uh, I can't really tell, but let's... Oh, he's already spotted. It's the level 25 bear. Oh, shit. Run! This is kind of a bad spot to be fighting him in because... The, uh, all of the brushes in the way. These guys are fast. Oh, he got a whack off, off on us. Yeah, I need to get out in the open so I can see a little bit better. Did we kill him? Yeah, I think we got him. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's take an O2. 
And I think we dropped them right around in here. Really hard to see. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Okay. Level 25, highly aggressive and territorial. All right. Let's get him butchered. If he was a little closer to home, I'd take him back to the butcher table, but we're just too far away for that. We got six pieces of meat. Okay. Not too bad. I'll get a shit ton of bones off of him, too. And lots of XP for doing the bones. All right. Nice. So... Our first, um, out in the wild, I guess, I don't know how you say it, <laughs> a bear kill, intentional bear kill, uh, not counting the two that we had to kill for the quest the other day. That was cool. Yeah, it would have been a little easier to hit him out in the open. I wonder, too, if I should maybe try and knife him instead, you know, so, so basically the idea is we hit him with the knife and then we kind of sidestep and run past him and wash, rinse, and repeat. Somebody was telling me, I think, I don't remember who it was. Oh, it might have been Wyoming Joe, but was telling me that that's the way to kill him. And it seemed to be somewhat effective. He did still whack us a couple of times, but we got the job done. That's the important thing. All right, um, let's take a look here. So we are, oh, we're way up here now. Okay. How high up does this map go? Oh, man. There's a lot of space here, isn't there? Okay, so we're coming through to kind of another valley area, I guess. We'll stop off at this lake and get some water. I do have uh, these. So we'll drink from them because we can't get parasites from those. Uh, you'll notice on my number nine slot, too, I've got some of the uh, poison uh, thingamadoodles, those things there. And because they do a 15% health regen, we could probably take them just for general healing if we needed to. Yeah, I think this is the lake... We stopped off before we did that north northmost scan quest. We kind of went off that way, but let's let's kind of stick more to the east on the way up out, and then on the way back, maybe we'll stick kind of more to the west side. Finding lots of carrots. That's good. I guess we're going to have a, <clears throat> a mission later on. It's a stockpile mission where we have to gather up and or grow a whole bunch of vegetables and meat and stuff like that to send up to the space station. So that ought to, that ought to be fun when the time comes. But yeah, carrots are pretty easy to find. Pumpkins are real easy to find. Berries are easy to find. Watermelons, not so much. At least not in my experience. I'm not picking those pumpkins up because they're going to be too heavy. Why is there... That's a really, like, perfect angle there. <laughs> huh, interesting. I watched um, a couple of videos on the Icarus YouTube channel, the actual developer's channel, Rocketworks. And <clears throat> one of them I had seen before, some, some of the guys in the Discord had posted it but then uh and it was the one where they talk about the the girl mo i think her name was uh which is a really good movie too by the way i watched that i've seen it twice where she decides that she wants to stay here she was part of the terraforming team and um anyway she made a conscious choice to to actually stay here and not go back in the pod which of course stranded her here uh, but then they've got another video out too where they talk about a team that <clears throat> went <clears throat> prospect team that was dropped and yeah we're out of room okay what do we not need to be carrying around right now kind of want to keep all the meat so we can get the spoiled meat um we don't need all that fiber let's 
eat some of those and some more of these. I don't want to really throw out bone and leather, but we might end up having to do that. Let's get some berries going too. All right, well we got we got two slots, so we're gonna have to be a little more judicious about harvesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, so so this video is about um, a group of prospectors that the UDA dropped. UDA is the company we work for. It's United something something. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, there was this big storm coming up and the UDA basically gave the ground team like false information and so any anyways um all but like two of them I think perished uh, when it was all said and done and it was like on the news and everything this was all of course make believe within the the game's lore but it's just really cool to watch and uh makes the game a lot more immersive when you start to kind of understand more about Icarus itself and the story and all of that so there's still some things that I think are a little bit far-fetched but you know it's a game and it's there's no point in trying to make video games perfectly match up to real life anyways uh, I stopped doing that a long time ago <laughs> uh, so it's really cool um, I can't remember exactly what it's called but if you just go to the Icarus YouTube channel uh, you'll find that video on there it's like a lore story video if I remember to, I'll try and look it up when I'm editing, and I'll post it uh, here. Oh, there's some more watermelon. Is it easier to find watermelon further out from the center, or is that just a total RNG thing there? Okay, well, let's um, eat some of those right now. And that gives us uh, the extra buff. Okay, let's look at the map. <clears throat> we'll get updated on the map. So, yeah, this is all... Very new territory. So I wonder if this grid that we're currently on is the entire forest biome. And then, because there's supposed to be a snow biome and a desert biome too. And those are like a completely different grid. I'm not sure about that. But if that is the case, then man, this is a huge place. All right, how are we doing on our carrots? Been, we got 49. Okay. Well, yeah, let's run down through here. We're kind of going southeast now. And just see <coughs> where it ends up. We're going to... What time is it? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we're probably not going to make it back to the base by nightfall. So if I run into a storm, I'll just burrow into a rock. If not, then we'll just keep going. But yeah, this is a long ways out. Man. Quite a ways out. Let's hit this deer. Want to keep hunting, you know, for the XP. Wow, look at that shot. Look at that shot. Oh, we got a level. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Even if we don't keep all of the materials, uh, we still want to do it for the XP. I guess, you know, bones aren't really as important to us now as they used to be because we're in the Iron Age. I'm still using a bone spear. I don't even, I don't even know why I have that equipped. I don't even use it really anymore, but... All right, let's get rid of the fiber and... Um, yeah, I think we're going to ditch some bones just because we just don't have enough room for all this stuff. We're keeping all the meat so we can get it all spoiled. All right, neat. So let's take a look at, let's go down to the water here and we'll take a look at our points. It's kind of a quaint little lake all the way tucked in the corner of the valley. Of course, it looks like it keeps on going that direction. We'll fill up our water skin. And let's just kind of go over here and crouch down so nothing comes up behind us. Okay, for talents, let's go to solo, and that's, what's this do, increasing, yeah, we definitely want that, 25% more weight capacity is huge. <clears throat> now, at this point, you guys, I don't think I'm going to put any more points into the solo tree. This would be nice, and I might 
do it later. Savage Hunter. The thing is, is I am, um, you know, I I I've get plenty of resources from the animals I hunt now. I, I just don't think we need even more. Uh, so we're gonna start taking a look at the survival combat, maybe construction trees. Uh, bow agility, faster move speed while holding bows, increased arrow damage. Yeah, I'd like that for sure. And, um, you know, start looking at those. But let's go back to the tech tree here. Uh, we want to go to tier two and slide over to the stone. And we need the angled walls in order to fully finish um, our base. And the door, too, we actually need that. Yeah, that leaves us one point left. Oh, okay, so let's go back to here. We have the textiles bench and the herbalism bench. We got the flour, which we could then use to start making bread products. The pot belly stove, it just says it's for heating, so I'm thinking that's probably something we... Oh, a lantern. That's kind of nice. We need glass for that, though. Poison paste, sulfur, and spoiled meat. Crushed bone. Calcium rich powder. Okay, it sounds like we got a storm coming in. Yeah, all right, we're gonna have to find shelter because that's a normal storm, which means it's gonna not be friendly. Uh, just need to find a large enough rock. This should do the trick here. Okay, so let's burrow into here. That should be good enough. If it isn't, we'll dig dig back some more. Okay, so we have one more point. Uh, let's go back to tier one. Uh, we can actually do poison arrows here if we wanted to. We got, yeah, uh, we got all that stuff. We could do wood windows or wood stairs, but I don't think that's really a high priority right now. Um, so I think we need to we need to look more at of more of this medical stuff. So the antibiotic paste. I guess... I don't know if the pneumonia is considered a bacterial infection. I don't think it would be. But I'm not sure. Um, Antiparasitic would be nice, you know, when we drink the water, blood thinning. 50% physical trauma afflictions on self. Oh, this is concussions and contusions. Oh, okay. I see. This is festering wounds. And this is healing deep wounds. I think we should get this suture kit. Yeah, let's get that. And we're probably going to get all the rest of those eventually, too. Okay. All right, so let's look at, take a look at the map. We are almost at the very edge here. Is it going to do another little update here? Yeah, a little bit. So it almost looks like it ends here, but it keeps going south. And then it also looks like it keeps going this way too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it ends here. Unless there's a really narrow passage going through there, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to wait out to the storm. And then when the storm's done, what time is it? Uh, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll do just a little bit more exploring before we wrap up this episode. And then I'll, I'll just hunt my way back uh, tomorrow, or overnight. Okay, the storm's finished. Drop the tree on us. Uh, well, it's almost finished, anyway. Uh, so I want to just run over here and just confirm that... There is not a passage. Well, actually, you can pretty much just tell right now from looking that there isn't. Yeah, okay. So there is no uh, extra passage over here. Let me see if the map will update a little bit more. Uh, map, you can update. So actually, it was more this way, though. But I can just tell, you know, from looking at the mountains that there isn't. Unless there's like a big cave or something.
Nope, nothing there. Okay. Let's head back this way then, and... Oh, look, there's like a little crick coming down through that draw there. That's neat. Ah, uh, but crap, it's getting dark. Uh, let's just run up here a little ways. And just see what we can see. We can drink from that. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like there's still another pretty sizable valley. Got another bear? It's a buffalo. Really? How about that? Are they hostile? Oh shit! He's hostile. Okay. I need to get like maybe up here where he can't just charge us. Uh no. Don't jump off the rock. Alright, where did he go? can't see him. He probably got stuck or something. That sounds like a bear, not a buffalo, but what I saw was a buffalo. That's just the deer. There he is. Okay. Look at that. Wow. We brought down a bison with one shot to the head, but there is a bear around too. Um, and he's really close. I wonder if the buffalo carcass is going to attract. Oh, I think I see him. Yep, there he is way over there. Um, let's butcher this guy because we're going to get a lot of XP for doing it. Nice. We killed a buffalo. Look at us and our bad selves. Sorry about the darkness, guys. Um... I'd like to know what level this bear is. Uh, that's not the bear. That's something else that I didn't actually intend to hit. There we go. Man, headshots are just brutal in this game. Very unrealistic, too, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, he's a level, level 12 bear. Not quite as big and mean as the first one we killed, but bear, a bear nonetheless. We get 1,100 XP for skinning a bear. Nice. I didn't check to see how much we got for the buffalo. All right, well, it, it is pretty dark. Um, let's just run up over the ridge real quick, take a quick peek. I know it's hard for you guys to see. Well, it's hard for me to see. Okay, so the crick starts from that waterfall but this continues on even further down this way this is really cool man oh it does seem to appear too that the further out we get the more dangerous animals i thought i heard another bear maybe Did 
that's just yeah that's just the goat okay well it is definitely definitely too dark for us to see but you know what i have a feeling like we are really close to the end of the map here let's just see what happens when the map updates Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a bear down here. Shit, I can't see anything. We better stay sneaked. Let's kind of work our way back this way. Holy crap. All right, you guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to find a place to hunker down for the night. Um... Oh my god, this is dangerous. Okay, that's just a goat. There's something across the way there. Um, I'm gonna... Okay, that's just a rabbit. Whew. I know there's a, a wolf right next to me, but I don't care about him. He's easy to kill. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and find a, a boulder to hunker down. For the night. And, um, in the morning, we're going to finish exploring down through there. I think we're really close to the end, but I just don't want to go down there in, in the pitch dark right now. That would be absolutely foolhardy for me to do. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the morning, and we'll go explore that other part of the valley. Bye-bye.